this is H.J. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Since last time, I've walked around for a little while and met up with a new enemy, Damovoy. They're slightly more powerful than ordinary goblins, but, well, there you go. They're mostly common on the first floor there, which is why you want to meet up with them there. There are a bunch of new enemies on this floor that I do want to meet up with before, before getting the sand pearl, right? It is called the Sand Pearl. I get my translations mixed up all the time. Nice. Let's try out that new Lamia Harp that we gave to Edward there. Use it on an enemy, you can confuse them. So now these guys will be, well, I don't know about whacking each other upside the head, but they'll be attacking themselves. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. And the nice thing about being confused is that spells will not undo that whereas physical hits will. I was saying about the sleep status earlier, uh, physical hits will not wake you up. I misspoke when I was saying that earlier. So, that's good and bad. But anyway, we got yellow jellies, like the red mooses that we met up with before. These ones are immune to physical attacks, but they're weak to thunder! Let's see, I think there's... One or two new enemies that I still want to meet up with. There they are, both of them. All right. We got Leshy in the back row there. They have, I don't think they have any elemental weakness that I care about. Let's use a regular blizzard spell on the adamant so we can make sure that we kill them. Let's see the basilisk there. I don't think they can do anything interesting. They have no elemental weakness. Pick up the Leshy there and we should be good to go. By the way, after the... Okay, I'll show you now. Uh, after the battle I edited out there, Rydia learned the warp spell. You could use that to warp back for it, just like in Final Fantasy 1. Okay, I think we're good to go. Just pick up the, I almost said Noon Pearl. Man, I'm getting all these jewels mixed up. Max Pearl? No. No. Uh-oh! It's a giant cave demon! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, well, you seem, uh, pretty sure about that. Nuts. I, I don't know if I can handle this, viewers. I, I don't think I'm going to make it out alive. For boss time! Okay, first things first, hide. Yeah, Edward, or, or this antlion here, they, it'll counterattack your physical hits. So what you want to do is have Edward hide because he just won't have the HP to survive for very long. You could just have Cecil do nothing because he won't counterattack your Chocobo summon, but, well, I have patience problems. Yeah, why don't you attack there, Cecil? One thing you could do during, well, this summon animation isn't very long. But some of the other summons later in the game, their, summon, their animations are a bit lengthy. One thing you could do is uh, use the fast forward feature to speed through the animation. But for some reason, when they do that, it the the speed the animation itself goes faster, but the sound effects get desynchronized from them. So that can be a little weird. I mean, that's the way it is in the game normally. They fast-forward the animation, but not the sound effects. And for defeating him, we get the Sand Pearl. All right. Well, that was easy. Oh. Yeah, I suppose so. Nuts. I'm sure that that's not true. You're just being paranoid. Well... I suppose everyone is trying to kill him, so, hey, I'd be paranoid if everyone was trying to kill me. Okay, well, let's get out of here. We got we got that emergency exit earlier, so let's put it to use. Not too many dungeons that we really are going to warp out of here in the near future. Or the whole game, for that matter. Usually they give you an automatic warp up, or a way out, so. Oh, and you know what? There was one thing that I uh, forgot to show off yesterday. You know what? Let's show it off. Why not? I forgot to show this off. Yeah, sometimes I get caught up in what I'm doing, and I don't really think about things too much. Well, I usually don't, but more than usual. You go back up here, 
there's some survivors here you can talk to. How do you get there? Oh, so that's how we're supposed to get back there instead of going all the way back through that cave. Which we couldn't, because there's a waterfall on the way. At least in this game. Oh, nuts. Well, we lost Tella. Can't get past that. So anyway, that one restores uh, HP. This pot here restores MP. So you'll see pots like that periodically every now and then to restore your statuses for free. So that's pretty nice. Was it really worth a minute of your time to watch that? No, not really, but, well, I figured I might as well. But anyway, yeah, now you can just go right over here to get back there. There we go. Easy enough. And unlike airships in Final Fantasy 1, the hovercraft can land on desert. So, that's pretty nice. I hope you made it back in time. Let's give it a try. What is a pearl going to do any... Oh, okay. Nice little uh, special effect there. Just a little thing. Not too much. But I like it. How's it going? Well, I'm still in one piece. So how did you get here so fast? How long was I out for? Yeah, I heard about that guy. Oh. Well, yeah, I did die, so. Huh, really? I wonder how much he's paying him. Nuts. Well, he's already got two. I wonder what he wants them for, anyway. Yeah, it can't be anything good. Well, we didn't re really need Edward's help. He just kind of sat on his ass the whole time. But he did give us the hovercraft, so I suppose he's the only one who knows how to drive the thing. Ah, oh, yeah. But we can't get through that wall of ice there. That would be a problem. Nuts. Ah, oh, yeah, she hasn't learned that spell yet. Hmm. Maybe I gotta level her up some more. Yeah, it was the most basic one in the first game. Hmm. If only we had Tella with us. Yeah. Yeah, I've played this JRPG before. Oh, you're just gonna let her join with us. Oh, okay. Yay! More party members! Now we got a real white mage. And she is really good. So... What's going on? Oh. Well, I guess since we're trying to save the world, we're all insomniacs. Absolutely! Standard rule. You know, at nighttime, that doesn't seem like that would be the best time to play your harp. I mean, wouldn't you be keeping up all the neighbors? Hey! Turn down the racket! Uh, this doesn't seem like... Uh oh! Nuts. Well, this isn't exactly boss time, so... But anyway, what you gotta do in this battle here... Oh, hey, it's Anna. I'm here to haunt you to your grave! No. Nah. But anyway, in order to win this battle, you actually have to hit the Sahajin, which sometimes can be a little tough. Each time you hit him, you'll advance the dialogue a little bit. See, that's not advancing it, so I gotta actually hit the guy. HIT THE GUY! There we go. You can tell because you hear the music. It calms the savage beast. But yeah, it's not based on how much damage you deal to him. You just gotta hit the guy three times, that's all. And where would that be? You're not going to tell us, are you? Well, do the best I can. 
technically Kaipo is part of the Damsan uh, region or wh whatever the area they rule is called. So, but oh, there we go. Oh, thanks for helping us out. Ah, sweet. Do the best I can. Okay, so right now, I'm gonna move Edward down there, but no, no, actually, let's just leave well enough alone. I think that's fine. Uh, with Rosa, let's see, we wanna give her the holy arrows that we had earlier and the crossbow. She can use well, bows and arrows, so there we go. That's pretty nice. Give her the feathered cap. We wanna hold on to one of those leather caps for later. And the ruby rings. And we still got your dream harp there, right? Okay, good, good. And what I want to do before heading out, I also want to buy one more thing for later, and that is another iron arm. Oop, no, no, that's, that's all good enough. I think that'll do for us, and yeah, I don't think we need to do any level grinding. I think we're all set and ready to go. But can we make it to Fabul in time to save the crystal? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.